Okay, so I have a uh, 2005 Mini Cooper S with uh, oh, a ton of miles on it, but uh, well, 100 and something thousand miles on it. So it's a pretty nice interior. We bought this car as a uh, parts car, and it turned out that um, it wasn't too bad to fix, so we fixed a ton of stuff, and it's a fun little car. We really enjoy driving it. Um, and the interior was actually pretty nice. Uh, the only issue we had with the interior really besides just the basic wear and tear was um, the driver's seat, uh, you can see here, had the, the uh, seam coming out. So um, I tried to repair it once, but I couldn't find um, nylon thread. So I ended up using polyester and it lasted maybe a few months and it started coming apart. So um, I'm gonna redo it with nylon. But uh, I've done a few of these now, and I've gotten pretty good at it. Um, so, but I haven't really done any videos, so I wanted to do one. And um, hopefully it'll help somebody. I, there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube, but uh, car ones uh, are a little harder to find sometimes. Uh, I don't know, I haven't looked recently. But um, anyway, um, hopefully uh, you'll get some information out of it. It's really not that hard to do. Um, I use a, uh, a curved needle, uh, and then, like I said, a nylon thread. Um, that is very important. Don't use polyester. Um, it doesn't, it breaks much easier. So, uh, nylon seems to work the best. And then I use a thimble to kind of protect my fingers. Um, and just be careful because you will end up pricking yourself a lot. Uh, the curved needle, there's just various sizes. Uh, I don't think it really matters, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. And, um, and as I go, you'll see, uh, there's two different methods. Um, one, one method is to uh, take the needle and then go through the hole, like th go through the, f the one hole. I'm gonna try to get close as I can, but focusing is gonna be fun. Uh, so you go through one hole and then you come out from underneath the other hole. If you try to use the curve to do it, it can be done, uh, it makes it more difficult. Other option is just to just take the whole needle and curve and get it through the one hole, get it completely out, get the string out, and then come back around the next hole from the bottom and come back up. So achieves the same uh, purpose, but basically takes longer, uh, but it's easier. So and then so you go in through the one hole, and then from the bottom come back out on through this hole on the same side, and then you cross over to the other side, and you go down through one hole and back up through the other hole. And then you just keep pre repeating, and then you go back on this side, and then you keep repeating that. And you just keep doing that until you're all the way across. All right. So I'll get started, and then uh, I'm gonna put it in, uh, I'm gonna speed it up so uh, you'll get to see it and it won't, won't take as much time. And sometimes, I've not had this happen before, but I guess I've weakened the needle a good bit, and then I went to go put it through the first hole and I ended up breaking it. So I'll go grab my slightly better needle, I guess, and get started again. Okay, so what I've done so far is I started my thread, I got my new needle, and I have a pretty long thread here. Um, so hopefully it'll, um, it'll last me a while. Um, so what I did was, let me put this phone aside over here real quick. Um, I started my uh, thread from the bottom of this hole right here. So I went under here and I carefully started the thread from here, from the bottom. And then I came up and across over and I went down this hole and then I went from the bottom back up here and that's where I am right now. So the next step is to go across to this one and then come back up this one and go across to this one. and then down and then back up this one and back over and then back up this one and back over and then back up this one and back over and then back up this one and back over you get the idea you're just going to keep going uh from on the same side go down and up and then over down and up over down and up over if you do it a couple times you get used to it it's, it's not that difficult at all uh like i said i watched a couple youtube videos and you know i'm an expert now um after doing it a few times but I'm um, not an expert, but I'm having fun. Um, so anyway, I've come up here. So the next step is to go across. Uh, so I'm gonna do that down, go across and down. And like I said before, if, if you really wanna get, have fun with it, you can try to go down and up in the same step. It's, it's 
difficult and takes a lot longer or it takes well I guess it takes less if you do it if you get at it but so I went down and it's kind of important to kind of make sure you kind of keep your threads clean here not don't get them tangled because I've done that before and that's no fun so I'm about starting to do that now here and I want to clean that up right now so I got it through the hole I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna keep them clean okay and then just gonna go through that's that's a thread from the old I'm just gonna go through and get it clean see now don't worry, that's an old thread from the uh, original stitching so just gonna keep that over there for now later I'm gonna cut it and super glue it in uh, so we'll talk about that later so now I've gotten down in here and you notice I can I can pull and tighten it make it look really make the seam look really good but we're gonna leave it loose for now because I want to be able to get under there and the looser thread will help me do that so basically I went down here so now the next step is I want to come up this hole right here so I can either try to bend it and see it and it's easier if I can see it obviously and this is where the thimble also comes into play um, but for now I'm doing all right without it so see I just went up and then just get that thread through and look at that and now time to come back across so we went down and then up I'm gonna go across here go down okay go down and take it I'm just gonna take it out so I get that and again try to keep the stretches the the thread nice and clear and I'm if you notice I'm using two uh, threads for strength so basically I just looped it when I got it through the needle and I tied the two together so I used an extra long piece of thread when I did that All right so um, so I'm down on, on this side now so see I went down this one so now next step is to come back up from the bottom on this hole so this is the tricky part because I can't see too well from underneath so I end up having to like you know try a few times uh, if I get again you do it a few times to get used to it so since the holes already there it's not that bad and you kind of go through and again try to keep the beds nice and clean and you know, like this and then just kind of get rid of this guy over here okay and I've done it so now across here come on there you go and through and uh, get one get it caught up on the seat and it's caught up everywhere that's the problem with this easy to get it caught up oh this is a problem how the heck did I manage to do that there we go yeah, and I have to kind of, yeah, there we go. Got him straightened out. Yeah, you need to be very careful with that because if you get them tangled up, sometimes you have to actually cut it, tie a knot, start over. And it's no fun, but still doable, just not fun. All right, so I went across. So the next step is this one from the bottom. And again, it's always fun. And at some point, I'm going to, trust me, I'm going to use the thimble. My fingers are gonna get tired. Uh, right now, I'm seem to be getting fairly lucky finding the hole every time to get through here over here. Like I said, with the leather, you want to use the pre-existing hole as much as possible. This is where we're gonna start with the thimble. Okay, she usually when you when you can't find it. There we go. And then I just take the thimble and put it over here for now. And then again, put my thread ready. And get it through. All right, 
So I've done a few now, and you can kind of see the process. Again, we're just gonna, it's lather, rinse, repeat now. And just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again until you get to the other side. Um, I'll slow down again once I get to the end and kind of show how I, how I tidy up. Um, but hopefully this will get us going. All right. So, so at this point I've done about an inch. So you can see I started over here and um, gotten about an inch. And when I when I get to the, the little bit further, what I do is I kind of like to just pull tight. So it kind of looks decent like that. See? So hope the hope is that eventually once we get to the end, it's going to kind of look like that. And again, it doesn't look factory perfect, but the more I tighten it, it looks nice. And so I want it to kind of look like this across the way. And you know, like this is the original factory one, which is not nicer, but then they do it from the bottom, so it's a lot easier. All right, and so it'll look better, but this will keep it nice, and then hopefully it will not tear for a long time. All right, so we we'll take a little break now, and I'll come back to it. Okay, so here it is. Uh, went through it, and it's pretty good. Um, it's not perfect, obviously. It's not the same as factory. Here's factory, but um, it will hold it. It should hold it. And all I've got really left to do is this was a uh, random thread that was in there. It pulls, but it doesn't. Nothing more comes out. So I'm gonna cut it off. But I want to put a dab of super glue there before I do. And then this is the uh, knot I made at the end of my my uh, string. So I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue on there. And this was the beginning, or technically the end, of the uh, thread that was here from before. So I'm going to put a little dab of super glue right there. So, you know, hopefully it doesn't peel anymore and go that way with it. But I think my knot, I uh, have a really strong knot on the bottom of my thread, or the beginning of my thread under here. So that should be just fine. And uh, I think this will hold just fine. Uh, I know it looks 
looks like you know it's further away i tried to pull it as i went um uh, it's not as easy to do start turning your hands after a while but the other thing i thought i had is i, I kind of want it to be a little flexible because this is old leather and um uh, it is, it's dried up a little bit, you know, this car's been probably abused a little bit in the old days. Um, so anyway, um, what I'm going to do now is just put the super glue, like I said, and then I'm going to give it a good clean. And um, I might even do the um, Mr. Clean eraser, magic eraser. I'm going to test it first on the side and see how it looks. And then, uh, and then of course, I'll have to recondition it all. Other than that, though, the seat's actually in pretty decent shape. Um, let me see this. This is about the only real wear on the seat, and it's really not worn. It's just a little bit of the dye fade. Uh, I don't really have a matching dye. This is black, but it's actually like a really dark gray. And uh, I have black dye that I've used in the past on other cars, like on this. So on this roadster, it's got a really shiny black, and black dye works great on there. But uh, I don't want to use that on that, and I don't think it's not that nice. So here's the interior on the rest of the car. Hopefully uh, it'll, it'll look really nice once it's in. So here's the super glue I'm using, uh, Permatex. It doesn't really matter what you're using. Well done.